The RMX 1000 Performance Driven Effects Processor offers a complete suite of effects and remix tools for live mixes and studio productions. With the VST AU plugin, the transition from live mixing to studio production takes the next logical step. Now you can bring all your favorite effects, sounds, and tricks from your live show back into the studio to create the ultimate studio mix or use them in your next production. You can use multiple instances of the RMX plugin within a project, allowing you to experiment further than ever before. With RMX inserts on every channel of the mix, you can use the familiar hardware as the controller for total integration. So let's get started. The latest version of the installers are always available from Pioneer website. To get the most from the plugin, make sure you download the Remix Box software as well. This is used to create custom sample banks for the XPad drum machine, as well as tweaking extra parameters. To install the plugin, run the installer package and follow the on screen instructions. To authorize the plugin, you need to plug the hardware in using the USB cable during the installation process. Once installed, you are free to choose whether or not you want to keep the RMX 1000 attached and use it as a controller. It's not essential though, so you can work on your tracks even when you don't have the unit around. The plugin is installed into the VST folder and on a Mac, the audio unit version is installed in the components folder as well. Open up Ableton Live and check the plugin folder. It should be visible. Now drag and drop into the audio channel. Switch the input button on the plugin and it will start to process the audio stream. To use the hardware with a plugin, connect it with a USB cable. When you load a new instance of the plugin into the arrangement, the link icon on the VST will be activated and the plugin will be ready to receive instructions from the hardware. The connect icon will also illuminate to show that the hardware is connected. Just turn one of the rotaries and you should be able to see the plugin replicating the movement. If we select an effect such as the trans roll, you can hear the audio being processed and see the rotary move on the plugin. When you have finished controlling the plugin, it is advisable to turn Link off. This way you can avoid any accidental changes. When using more than one RMX plugin, just hit Link on the new window to automatically switch control over. This will also switch Link off on all other instances. You can also use the controller to record performance automation into your project. In fact, every aspect of your performance, including the effects and the X-pad, can be captured and recorded by the door. Remember that you need to turn the link on for the plugin to respond to the controller before we start automating it. To start using the effects, make sure the input button is on. You can do this in the plugin or on the controller. This routes the audio into the processor, just like when using the hardware with CDJs. To keep the BPM in sync with the project, press the auto button. Now when you change the tempo of the project, delays, rolls and sequences will remain totally in sync. Let's add a bit of delay to this track and build it up towards the breakdown. Position the start point a few bars before you want to start recording to give yourself some time to get ready. Now press record. Select the echo effect on the scene effects and turn the rotaries to increase the effects over four or eight bars. Switch off the echo and then press stop to end the recording. It's vital to make the effects on off selection part of the recorded automation. This way you can change effects throughout the performance and the automation will record and play it back as expected. Once the automation has been recorded, you can edit the data just like any other plugin by viewing it in the controller lane and using the mouse to make adjustments. You can also add new parameters and edit them without using the hardware controller by adjusting them on the plugin. Touch the filter range dial on the plugin or turn the dial on the hardware and the parameter appears in Ableton's automation lane. Now we can draw in the exact filter suite we want in a very accurate way. A nice way to really simplify a control can be using Ableton's plugin panel. Hit the configure button and touch the control on the interface and it will appear in the parameter box ready to control and automate using the mouse. This way we can record overdubs and layer several takes together using the controller. Now you can create more complex effects and tricks that would otherwise be impossible with just two hands. Since we have already laid down a layer of echoes, Let's add some isolate effects on top and finish with a vinyl break. When we have finished, turn off the link to stop any accidental changes with the hardware. Add another plugin on another audio channel, for example, white noise for a build up. First, we need to create a new audio channel. Then add the RMX from the plugin folder. Start the record process a few bars before you want to sweep the start. Now select noise from the scene effects and twist the dial.
When using one controller for several plugins, it's possible that the rotaries will be left in a different position when switching between plugins. This could be too high or too low depending on your situation. At times like these, it might seem like the plugin isn't instantly responding, so all you need to do is turn the dial until it passes through the current parameter values and picks up the value. All of the XPad features can be used within your productions, including the drum machine, rolls, and live sequencing functions. These lock in with razor sharp precision thanks to the automatic BPM sync. When we want to use the XPad for drums and samples, it's best to add the plugin on its own channel. This way we have more flexibility for volume, panning, and processing without affecting any other part of the mix. Let's record a snare roll to make the build more exciting. The performance is stored as automation data and you can view it in the controller lane and alter any aspect of the performance or experiment in new ways by drawing in with the mouse. Alongside the built-in sounds, the drum machine can be loaded with your own samples using our Remix Box software. The quantize function ensures that your performance is always locked in with the grid and tempo of the project. Pitch, hold and overdub are all captured as part of the performance, so you can jam in the studio in exactly the same way as with a live performance. You can change the sequence pattern for each slot using the Remix Box software. The RMX1000 plugin brings the sound and feel of DJing to the studio environment. Instead of just one unit, you get unlimited virtual plugins with the ability to automate and edit everything. Customize the sample banks and effects using Remix Box, and you have the ultimate DJ effects box for studio production.